Well, how do there, chums? This is I, Captain of the Steves. And today, chums, I've got some No Man's Sky news come speculation come weirdness. Yeah, it's a little bit of a medley of everything today's episode. A bits and bobs. Anyway, let's jump on in over to the Tinterwebs and I'll show you what I've got first on the agenda. I guess. So first on the agenda is Sean Murray Watch. Now scrolling down on Sean Murray's feed, he has put out some updates. Let's go over to the experimental branch and see what's inside of those updates and what they've managed to fix. So this was on the 22nd of the 2nd, which is today, I guess. So there's a fair few bits and bobs have been fixed, mainly around sort of the freighters and owning of your um, you know, your pirate dreadnought and so forth and so on. But yeah, a few a few crashes for hangs and bug fixes. There's a, there's a fair few others when you scroll on down as well. There's a fair few that have sort of hit up the experimental branch. These haven't been packaged and deployed out to all platforms as yet. So if you're seeing anything in this list that you feel might be affecting you, yeah, you might want to just hold on for a little while before jumping back into game, before you actually try testing any of these, because these are just not experimental at the moment. Now, over on my actual community tab, there's been some players that have experienced some very odd bugs. So, basically, this is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing that when people end the expedition from the Space Anomaly console, the new console for running the expedition, and return to their legacy save, they can't save any additional progress. Not at their bases, jumping in and out of their ship, from manual save points, nothing. Yet their other saves work fine. Had PC and Xbox players tell me this so far, and I've put out a poll, I've had 393 votes, and it's only affecting a very small swathe of people at the moment, but it's even affecting people on a PlayStation. So it's something to be aware of, and some even on, well, one on Mac and, and PC, on Mac and Switch. So, now I'm waiting for Milestone 5 to complete. Milestone 5, optional Milestone 5 to complete. And that's at about 76% at the moment or so. And so it's going to be another couple of days yet. I'd imagine it's going to ramp up over the weekend. So hopefully it'll finish fairly soon. But a lot of people I think are in the same boat as me. They haven't finished or transferred it back to their normal save yet. And 71% of people are in that boat. So I'm wondering whether this might be a bigger problem. Now looking at the experimental branch, there is a mention of changing it back to normal mode here. Allow save games that begin in the season mode to transition to normal mode without needing to complete the optional milestones. I'm on that optional milestone. But it doesn't mention about saves that aren't allowing saving then on after. So I don't think that is a fix for that problem. So heads up. I still think it might be a problem and I think it might be a bigger problem than what's been reported because 71% of the insane boat as me that they haven't ended off their expedition as yet. Anyways, scrolling down a bit further, there's a few things there for members and thank you to all the new members to my channel, it's greatly appreciated, it really is. Right, I put out this poll. Do you think Hello Games will ever overhaul some of the main core pillars of No Man's Sky? Or do you think cosmetics and extra dressing is all that would come into game now? Now, the core pillars for me are what Hello Games done their trailers on right before release of No Man's Sky. So the four pillars are like um, survive, fight, trade and explore. They're the four main pillars. Okay. They did next, and Origins, hope for more like them. I really do hope to see at least one more giant Gib-like update for No Man's Sky, like a final hurrah. I think we might get that just before Like No Fire drops. One massive, great, big overhaul update, just to keep those that want to linger with No Man's Sky, or continue playing No Man's Sky, linger's the wrong word, um, <laughs> rather than jump over to Like No Fire. Not everybody likes fantasy games. People picked up No Man's Sky because they like space exploration, they like sci-fi. Sci-fi and fantasy doesn't always walk hand in hand. And just because one person likes sci-fi doesn't mean they're going to like fantasy. You know, so there's going to be the core fan base of No Man's Sky that will remain, you know. Anyway, not now that Light No Fire has been announced. 39% of people think that. That's craziness, isn't it? Okay, if they add in the Void or Glass Realm, that could add in depth. It certainly could, and I think that's one of the greatest ways they could achieve that. Switch and Last Gen is holding it back. No, I doubt it. We have seen, since it came over to Switch, 
that um, the updates that we've got have been very cosmetic. They've been very surface level. They haven't gone back in and revisited area and added in loads of depth. It has just been very surface level. And I do wonder whether that has now set a precedent for how things are going to progress. Remain hopeful, but I've been hopeful for seven years now, 11%. Yeah, there, there are certain things that my level of hope have dwindled massively. It's like, say, the super formula or maybe even ship customization. These sort of things are sort of and mega cities or mega fauna that we can do combat with. These sort of things, if I, I would have thought if Sean Murray and the team are always listening to the community, these things would have been high up on their list and they would have already made it in. Unless these are the sort of things that they know that everybody wants and they've heard the community but they're trying to put it all together and make it all work and maybe that's going to be a giant overhaul sort of update like Next or like Origins, you know. But we'll see, we'll see what's on the cards. I still remain hopeful but yeah, if I had to pick one of these on this list, I think I'd go for the top one. I would like to hope that we could get one more Next or Origins sort of sized update. Now, there is quite a lot that I think is going to be coming in this year. And I think there's heavy sort of hints that those things are coming in. Or even things that we're finding inside of game right now that sort of show that there's more on the cards. Anyway, so what am I on about? Well, over on Sean Murray's post, he'd done this. Chinese fan art is next level. When you look at this image and you see this staff in this little guy's hands here, and you see this sort of garb that looks very Atlas-esque, what did we just get in the Omega update? Atlas-like looking armour? An Atlas faceplate? An Atlas wingsuit? And an Atlas staff? It kind of looks fairly similar, doesn't it? I mean, yeah, it's not exactly the same, but it's got remnants of it. I mean, the faceplate has got this his shoe on his freaking face. You know, I think they obviously took inspiration. And then when you look at the rest of this chap's art, Maybe this is going to be on the cards. Maybe we're going to get some sort of Void Mother type suit in time as well, people. And in this same sort of art set that this chap done, they put out this, talking to the Autophage. And look, red cable or a purple cable. You can either link up to the Crimson or to her. Interesting stuff. And I think that that has been put into the game in a roundabout way. I think the I think the proof is in the pudding. Let me just uh, bring up the old game image for a second. Uh, I'll show you what I mean, people inside of the viewerverse, I guess. Here we go. chick boom Right, so I'm in game right now. And this armor set is very reminiscent of what we just saw in that mock-up. But not only that, inside of the Nexus now, they've put a teleporter that teleports you up there. Well, what is up there? chick boom As soon as you teleport up here, go through here, you're by Tephus and this chap. Now this chap right now doesn't do very much. But I honestly think that they've given us a way to get up to him fast because he's going to be doing a heck of a lot more than what he does now. I think this guy is going to play a bigger part in this year and also the updates that might come. I'm wondering whether they're going to give us some sort of missions to go into the void or the realm of glass and maybe come back with like encrypted ingrams a bit like freaking destiny and we take them to him and he, he decombobbles them and you get a random bit of gear or loot yeah that's what i think could be on the cards people what do you think people in the view of us now something that really does tick me off at the moment people is when we got given the ability to blow up freighters you could blow up your own freighter and it would crash the game so hello games knew that that was a thing they knew that that was a bug and they gave us the ability to now get Sentinel Dreadnought Freighters that you could then shoot and it would blow up and it would crash the game. Why are they repeating the same mistakes rather than learning from them? It, to me, it feels like some of the things that get put in are rushed. It's like this machine right here. You know, it's still got pictures from the ship scrapping module on it. You know, it still shows a ship on this screen, whereas it clearly shows a multi-tool inside of here. And just like before, the wand is now massive and crosses through the echelons of this holographic projection and into weld, which they fixed prior when they put in staffs. But this staff is still janky as fudge. So it's just a little bit weird that we're seeing the same things happen. But at the same time, it does worry me a little that the updates that we're going to get are going to be slightly rushed, slightly haphazard, and we're going to get reams and reams of patch fixes then on afterwards. 
Now, Hello Games did put this out to Experimental Branch for us to test this new console, which is down here now. And the, the community did, by and large, test it, but they tested it for PC. Now, PC isn't going to have the same sort of storage issues as, as maybe some of the consoles and things like that. So just testing it is only testing it on a very small portion of the actual community. Now, I wonder whether Hello Games done this for two reasons. One, to show that it's not always that easy for Hello Games themselves to capture all bugs reported. And even when they put it into the hands of the community to do that work for them through the experimental branch, it still doesn't capture every single error that's out there. And, you know, when they actually said that we've put in a version of the expedition, they didn't. They put in the actual expedition. I mean, we could have tested this with any expedition. They could have just put in Utopia, for example, for us to test an experimental. Then it wouldn't have ruined anything or spoiled anything for the rest of the community. And there wouldn't have been so much backlash. I mean, there, there has been backlash towards content creators. I've had some people say, right, well, I've, I'm, I'm, I'm subscribing from you for, for, for uh, you know, spoiling this for me. Well, all I've done is acted on the content I was given by Hello Games. If you're a content creator and you're given content for the game that you cover on your channel, you're obviously going to cover it. I, I just I just find it a little bit odd. And also, at the same time, you know, there's a couple of spoilers there for you guys, yes. But at the same time, hopefully you're going to get more of a bug-free experience. Or at least that's what I thought. But then when you look at this experimental branch and you just see how many bugs that we've actually actually found outside of experimental it does make you feel well maybe that risk reward type wasn't a balance you know anyway so this new console here i will be testing this i will be ending the expedition and bringing stuff over and returning to my primary save but i'm waiting for the final part of this expedition to come to an end and you can see here it's up in the high 70s now it's massively slowed down hopefully that's going to speed up over the weekend and hopefully we can get it across the line there's a few other things that i think are slightly obvious with what might be coming into the game and one of them i think is a subtle hint that's on the side of this actual new ship that we've got this starborn runner now these inside the game files are actually marked up as being racing ships sean of the murrays actually did retweet out like a picture of like wipeout with this ship inside the ship selection screen and also it has this lovely little decal here of a geck with like a, a racing helmet on and also a flag i've had somebody hit me up inside of my comments and say captain steve maybe it's just a reference to joe danger because he wears exactly the same helmet as this little geck it might not be ship racing it just might be a nod to their other game i was like holy fudge they could be right they could be on to something we might not get ship racing this might just be as simple that but um i don't know so much i mean those little decals they're usually linked to a function it's like you find them on bite beats and they've got like a little headset on and a musical note you find them on the neutron processor and it's got a chef hat on if you go up to the back there you're going to find one with a corvax with a dna strand here you go, so here you go. there's show. one right here yeah it's got a little corvax head with a dna strand there I have seen a Viking one with a multi-tool. It's like a green Viking with a pink face, but I can't remember where I bloody saw him. But here, here you go. Here's the chef one on this thing that's spinning around up here. There you go. Look, there's the chef one. Oh, fudge. went behind the wall. There you go. There's the chef one up there with the chef hat, as you can see there. And like I say, there's also one on the bite beat. So I think they're linked to function. So I think there's going to be a function. I don't think it's just going to be an image on the ship. That's what I think anyway, people. Um, to me, I feel that's quite an obvious thing. So yeah, I think this year is going to be quite a telling year. And also, another thing that's obvious is the fact that inside of the actual Games Awards trailer, or teaser, as I'm being told, it's not a trailer, Steve. It's, it's a teaser. Yeah, well, they showed the space stations, interior and exterior. And although that might just be cosmetic fluff, it might actually have rhyme or reason. There might be new kiosks in there. There might be an overhaul to missions. We can only but hope and keep our fingers crossed. Not that I ever want to hype it. Because let's face it. Every single update that we've had for the last year or so. Has been surface level. It has been cosmetic. And it has been just set dressing. It hasn't actually improved in any of those pillars. The, only, the last one that I think did was Sentinel. And that was like fight and survive you know. It sort of enhanced those two slightly. 
And then outlaws may be helped with trade, like doing smuggling runs and things like that. But that's very loose. You know, that is that is me clutching at freaking straws for that to say that it's enhanced some of the actual core generic parts or engine parts of this game. Anyway, I'm just going to jump in and out of my ship, create a little save here. Make sure that I'm in the old Nexus for the next time I boot in. Because I'm just waiting for that um, optional milestone to run its course. Righto, people. Well... That is everything I've got for you people inside the view of Earth. And what a lovely image to end on in the background here of that autophage robot. Honestly think he's going to have more to do with the actual game. Man Spider, I think, is going to be giving us some sort of errands to run inside of the realm of glass or inside of the void. And I'm thinking that the ARG part four was not Omega, is what I'm thinking, even though Omega means the end. Inside of the patch notes, there was no mention of the ARG. It didn't say this is the c c conclusion to our narrative. It didn't say anything like that. Inside of Sean's post, it didn't mention the ARG or the same, that it was a closure to it. I honestly think some of these names that they're choosing their updates right now are trolly. It's like the fractal. Fractal, everything is unique. Every snowflake is a fractal. And we didn't get any sort of any enhancements to procedural generation but fractal had that written all over it the mega i honestly think they're picking these names right now just to sort of press a couple of buttons in my opinion it, it, it feels a little bit really seriously why that name why else you know um that's kind of how it feels to me anyway people sound of in the comments as you can hear i'm not all myself i'm a little bit under the weather and that may have come across and I don't know, I'm probably really not as upbeat as I normally am and as positive. But at the same time, I did say um, previous sort of videos that February is going to be very telling. Depending on what we got on February, I felt would set the pace for the rest of the year. And I honestly think Hello Games have already got those giant space stations, but they're going to give them as and when. When it fits with the narrative, when it fits with the ARG, when it fits when they're ready to deliver it in. It will come in 2024 because of that trailer teaser, tra trailer, whatever you want to call it. But I do think that they've got it all ready and they've had it ready for months and they're just going to release it in parts because they're working on Light No Fire. But not only that, you know, I think that they, they know that it's generating this hype and we're all excited about the Void Mother. And I think they just want to keep that hype and stretch it out that just that little bit longer. And maybe they're going to deliver something special in the summer. I think that I honestly do, don't think we're going to see anything special until August time, people. That's what I think. I think the next couple of updates are going to be just like a mega. Just an expedition, a few quality of life things, little subtle hints that there's more to come. And then I think the big thing will happen in the summer, in August. So that's what I'm putting out there right now, people. That's where my gut feeling is right now. And just a reminder, this Sunday, I'm going to be jumping over to Ghostlight Stream. And we're going to be speculating and talking about the law and what the law might mean. And I'm probably furthering these ideas, bouncing ideas off of him. I hope I'm feeling better by then because I am feeling like, I'm feeling terrible. This is like razors in the throat, people. It really is. But anyways, till next time. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.